Hi again, Amy here. It's your weekly update for Friday, January 17th, 2020. I would like to start off this week by showing you a picture. Yep, those are my daffodils at home popping out of the ground and I would bet yours are too. Taking a look around the nursery, they are really starting to pop up here. Pretty much everywhere. There's thousands of them planted and I think it's time, but it is not. I was hoping it'd just be daffodils, but it looks like the tulips are starting to pop up a little too. And then I found this guy right here, just on top of the ground, ready to grow in the middle of January. So what do we do about this very unfortunate event? Well, the answer really is nothing. Uh, we're not gonna do anything in around here. We'll just wait and see what happens. It is for us to get cold again, so they should stop growing. And luckily the actual bud for the flower is still underground, so it's still being protected. Now the little bit of foliage that's up off the ground may and probably will receive some kind of winter damage, but the rest of the plant should be fine and it should come up uh, in the spring just as it should. Now if you do have prized bulbs or expensive bulbs, you can cover them. You could use straw, mulch, or even uh, pine boughs. Uh, you could use your Christmas tree, actually, if you still have the live Christmas tree in your home. You could cut those branches out and lay those on top for additional winter protection. Unfortunately, earlier in the week, we had a very large problem to deal with. In the back, we have a big hoop house, and unfortunately, half of the plastic blew off because of those very high winds. And of course, because of the time of year, that large of a piece of plastic was not available from our vendor. So what do we do? Well, we buy two pieces of plastic and we actually iron them together. It's actually strong enough to hold them. And then with the straps, we put it back on and everything's safe and sound for now. And luckily during that time when the plastic was off, the weather did cooperate. It was a bit warmer earlier in the week because inside that greenhouse are a lot of prized Japanese maples and a whole bunch of shrub, flowering shrubs that have buds that are ready to go for spring. And back here in the greenhouse, I know it's loud, sorry, that's the fan. We received more flats and cuttings um, from a local grower here in Ohio. There's some creeping Jenny here and a whole bunch of New Guinea patients. These will be potted into larger pots and into hanging baskets. We have some ivy geraniums here actually starting to bloom. Aren't those pretty and kind of different? This is called Great Balls of Fire, Stars and Stripes. And the last couple of days, Carl, our greenhouse manager, and Tom Dayton himself, they attended some sessions at the OSU ATI down OARDC on greenhouse management. Basically, the sessions went over how to reduce chemical use in the greenhouse, which of course, I'm sure as you know, we have started. Uh, one of the things we do is use calcium chloride in the greenhouse for disease control, and we use our beneficial insects to reduce the amount of chemicals we use on the greenhouse product. And funny enough, Carl was treated like somewhat of a celebrity this morning when the presentation by Dr. Uttara Samara Kuhn turned to him. He was given the microphone to answer questions about the use of calcium chloride in the greenhouse because we are one of the only greenhouses here in this area that have started using that product. And I do have a YouTube video on how and why we use calcium chloride, and I will link that below. And last but not least, we as a group would like to wish Tom Dayton a very happy birthday. His birthday was on the 16th. I wished him happy birthday and he said he feels like 39 all over again. So thanks again for tuning in. On our email newsletter this week, I had listed some upcoming events at the Seacrest Arboretum that look kind of fun. And then next week, I will start talking about our winter seminar series that starts on February 1st. Okay, see you next week. Bye-bye.